The next thing I want to share with you is identifiability issue. Now, parameter identifiability problem occurs when model makes the same prediction for more than one value of the parameter. For example, if I have a function like y is equal to a times b times x, then there are infinite number of ways to choose a and b for which the model gives the same answer. Right? a could be 1, b could be 1, y equal x, a could be 2, b could be 1 half, the same thing, a could be 3, b could be 1 third, again the same thing. So there are many, many number of ways that a and b can change and I get the same answer. So I cannot identify what a is and what b is. Here is uh, another example uh, for, for our situations is that take uh, such, a, uh, such a watershed, for example, you have rainfall and this rainfall divides into runoff and infiltration at the surface. Now, we know that if I increase CN2, runoff will increase. If I decrease CN2, runoff will decrease. So, for example, let's say I have a CN2 of equal to 50, and I have a rainfall of about 10 units, and I have a runoff of about 5 units. Now, if I change my CN2 to 60, if I increase CN2, then I would in expect that runoff should increase. But if I decrease rainfall at the same time, then my runoff stays the same. If I increase CN2 further and decrease rainfall even further, my runoff stays the same and the same. I can increase CN2 to any number I want and keep on adjusting the rainfall and I get the same runoff. And I can go the other way. I can decrease CN2, increase rainfall, get the same runoff, decrease it to the minimum value, increase rainfall, and I get the same runoff. So the point here is that I cannot fit CN2 and rainfall at the same time because I cannot identify them independently. I always have the same, the same runoff. So the rainfall is a driving variable. So you cannot fit a driving variable with other parameters. For example, canopy intercept is also a driving variable. Anything that puts water into the system is a driving variable and cannot be fitted with the same with other parameters. It has to be fitted independently and then fixed and then you can fit other parameters. So these are some examples of driving variables, T-lapse and P-lapse in the elevation band. All the snow parameters, precipitation and temperature and canopy uh, intercept. So I cannot fit T-lapse and P-lapse with other parameters or with the other of the driving variable parameters. I have to fit them independently by themselves and fix their value and then go to the next set. If I, if I need to, of, for example, the snow parameters, so I can fit them as a bunch together and fix their values, then go to the next one, say precipitation, in SWAT COP, you're allowed to uh, very carefully, in certain situations, uh, fit precipitation. But you cannot do it at the same time as other parameters or the other uh, uh, driving variables. The same with canopy max.